I feel sorry for the mother. I really do. It grieves my heart to know she lost her baby that way. Crime scene tape hangs out of a trash can at 805 Worth Street. A table set up outside the home is where neighbors say adults were playing cards Sunday night. Esther Carter lives next door. She didn't hear the gunshot fired in the house just before 10 p.m., but saw officers run into the house. I came outside. I saw they had a little police had a little boy in his arm. He put him in a car. He rushed them out here. Be advised, I want PDs coming in with a gunshot victim. Four-year-old, just be aware they may be pulling up any time now with a gunshot wound. Four-year-old victim. I was praying for the little boy. I said, Lord, please let the little boy make it all the way. I didn't know he had shot himself in the head. Neighbors say High Point police stayed on scene until 5 in the morning. Court documents show Child Protective Services is investigating the homeowner. It's not clear who owned the gun the child used. Esther says what happened is a heartbreaking lesson for parents everywhere. You've got children, put it up, lock it up. That's what they say, lock them up. It'd be better to lock them up when that, that would never happen. To the family grieving the loss of the four-year-old. I keep him in my prayer and hope that God heals the wound and let him know that everything will be okay.